My name is Lizzie. Each week I'm bringing along a different origami fold to encourage you to take some time out for yourself, some self-care time. And I'm encouraging you to do that through origami. Anybody can get hold of some paper and you can make something really beautiful that will focus your mind. It's a bit of a challenge, but that's part of the joy of it. And you'll make something beautiful that you can keep as a decoration or maybe give to somebody else. Um, it's coming up to a festive time of year here. Um, I think across cultures, when it gets dark, we need to bring in a little bit of festivity to our lives. Feel that feeling of connection, of finding the sparkle and the hope and the joy that that brings. So I'm absolutely delighted to bring a very special fold. Now this is going to be a longer fold than usual um, because there's a few more folds in it than I usually do. And I will also actually need to follow a diagram. So you're going to have to be quite patient with me as well. So this design comes from a fantastic book um, from Peter Buchan Simmons. And he has created a wonderful collection of festive folds. And it includes things like uh, a reindeer, Santa, Christmas tree, stocking stars. Um, and the idea is these little decorations that you fold up and can pop into a card. So you even fold your own card out of just paper. And he even shows you how to make your own envelope as well. It's so neat. And it's a mixture of tradi some traditional folds, but mostly folds that he's made up himself. So his own new designs. Peter's a new emerging origamist, um, and I'm really excited about this collection. So he, with his kind blessings, I uh, he's, he's very happy for me to show you a fold from his book. Um, this week, I'm going to show you how to fold this gorgeous little Santa, which I thought was very sweet. And next week, I'm actually going to show you how to fold a star, which I absolutely love. It's a traditional star, and I think also makes a really lovely decoration, which was new to me. So for this I would encourage you to go and grab yourself some paper and you may also if you don't have origami paper or here's some other example lovely robin all these things that he's that he's designed and created so maybe find yourself um, a red pen or crayon if you don't have origami paper because I think actually for this you do need a bit of colour so we're going to make a little Santa from paper that's red on one side and white on the other if you haven't got origami paper, don't worry, I have been making effectively my own origami paper. So here I was using felt tips um, and even though it's a bit running out, I think the effect's really sweet. So that's one way of doing it. Or you can use um, a colouring pencil as well. So go and grab that and let's get started. So if you grab yourself a board and pens and just join me so yep yeah, it's going to be a bit of a journey together today on this one right so i am going to grab myself a piece of paper just some paper I happen to have and i'm going to really quickly actually just do some red pencil in itself this is quite relaxing too but this way as well it's not too dark so hopefully you can still see the lines Felt tips a little bit richer colours, or you could paint, or if you can find wrapping paper with red on one side, or of course you might have origami paper. There's nothing different about origami paper, it's just often quite nice colours and things, so it can feel like a treat. They can be rather nice. Right, so I am oh, also going to get my diagram ready as well because I haven't quite remembered all of this because there's more steps than my usual. So I'm going to be following this diagram as well. Nicely done too. So here goes. Um, so first of all, we're going to make a square. I have got uh, the paper here. I'm going to turn it over and bring that lining it up there. There we go. Oh, you probably don't want to see that in the corner. <laughs> there we go. Right. So we've got a making a nice triangle and we want to remove the white there so if we turn it over bring it back to line up there we go nice good strong fold so all we're doing at the moment is making a square which has got red on one side pale red in this case and white on the other so we can tear that off there we go so it's red on one side 
So we've done one diagonal line, I want you to do the other diagonal line as well. There we go. So we've done both diagonal lines. Our next step is to take one side and we're going to bring it to that vertical line. Again, just take your time. Enjoy going slowly, I think it makes it a lot more relaxing and easier to be accurate. Because there's going to be a little bit more folds than I normally do, then I would really recommend being accurate because any little, if it being out at all, it will get worse with time. So start well. The other side as well, that diagonal side, bringing to the vertical line. There we go. So that's looking good. Great. So you have got what looks a bit like a ice cream cone at the moment. <laughs> looks like an ice cream cone. Okay, we're going to next do a fold between one corner and the other. I find it easier to just take it and just fold it back so it lines up along that. Can you see? It's easy for me to then line up and make sure that's in the middle. That's it. So, okay, a strong fold. If you're not happy with where the fold is, you can reposition until you're happy. That's it. Great. So, we're going to turn to the front and just basically open everything up again. You can see the lines that we've made. That's it. Great. So, we're going to take the top fold and just we're just changing the direction, just bring it down like so. Great. And next we are going to take this bottom corner and we're going to bring it up in the middle to the top, like so. I mean, I would recommend you do it <laughs> on a side surface looking so you can be nice and accurate. I'm attempting to do it in the camera. That's it. I will just double check myself. Yep, I'm fairly happy with that. There we go. So it's looking like this. That's great. So our next step is we're going to take the bottom and bring it all the way up to the top. So we're going to take the bottom and we're going to bring it all the way up to the top, lined up. So just keeping it as it is. There we go. And squashing it down when you're happy that everything's in position. Lovely. And our next move is at the moment that little white triangle is being is upwards. I want you to take this and just flip it downwards like that. That's great. So we've added a little fold. Now you should be able to open this up and you should be able to see it's like a little like a little mouth. I think of it as like a little bird's mouth. It looks like a little square there. That's great. So our next move is to take the top, uh, sorry, is to push this down and this little point we're going to bring up to that line that you can see there. Like so. So you can almost see now a little tiny white square. It's got smaller, hasn't it? That's it. And our next step is we are going to take the bottom of this line and fold it in half so it will sort of cover that up. <laughs> like so. Like so. Can you see? I am almost rolling it over. So it's like this. I take this line and just line it up to the top of that triangle. I can almost feel, yeah, my tongue can come out with the concentration. Very good concentration. Just going to check that everything's lined up. There we go. Should look like that. All right, we're almost going to do a little bit of rolling. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to push it up. Can you see? And it's rolled up on there. 
let me just check I'm doing the right thing <laughs> uh, that's it and we're actually going to do one more kind of roll like that so I'm going to again take this and roll it up like so great and there's kind of quite a gap now in there that's fine that's how it should be lovely you can almost imagine it's becoming like a father christmas already can't you so our next move is to take the side here and we're going to line it up at the bottom take this this line and line up there like so there we go so it's that outside bit and it should just line up nicely there that's it and the same with the other side that diagonal line and bringing up there and it should just line up nicely there we go Feels like it could be almost an envelope at this point but you can see that it could become part of christmas too <laughs> okay so next we're going to add the little tiny cute sleeves the end of the sleeves so we're going to take the point here and bring it back to that midpoint so we're just halving it um, i will show you more closely let me see so it's that point and we're going to bring it to the middle there there we go and we should do the same thing on the other side so taking this and lining it up so peter is a member of the british origami society and he he told me that he's been doing origami since he was eight so he's been doing it for a very long time and it's wonderful to see what he's been inventing i wonder what else he's going to create um yeah so we're going to open up the flaps now so I'm still keeping it in that position. I'm just opening this up on both these sides. And our next move is we're going to take this line here and line up to the bottom line, to that central line. Again, I'm just going to make the fold and then I will show you. Requires lots of concentration for me as well. So it is that this sideways line. Um, diagonal line and then lining up along that midline like so and it produces that angle and we're going to do the same on the other side so we're going to take this and line it up there like so and you might be able to see you've got already a little bit of a sleeve beginning to appear there as well so our next fold we're going to do at the top something very similar again bringing this diagonal line to the middle line and from it will go the line will start at the very top in the middle again I will show you so I took I took this line and I brought it to that middle line like so and it's come from the top, the top point there, because you're later on going to want a nice pointy hat. And I'm going to do the same on this other side. So this line will line up with that middle line. And going from the centre, you can see how it needs more accuracy. Yeah, yeah. This is really good. Good for concentration, isn't it? So again, it was this outside and bring it up to the middle line like so great we're getting there so at the moment there's a lot of ingredients but it's a bit of a wide center at the moment so our next move is to go to the back now and we're going to be adding a fold which goes from the top here down to that point and it goes actually quite naturally so I'm going to take this I'm going to go from the point there and bringing it from the top, so from the top here to that point. And it goes more naturally than you'd think actually. It sort of feels like a little, nice little line where it will happily go through. Now I recommend we do the same thing on the other side at the same time. So again from that point where you can see the line is. 
point to the very top. So again, bringing it in, hopefully it will sort of just go. Great. So they could actually overlap like that at the moment. Great. We're not far off actually. So we're going to take this bit that sticks sticks out and we're just going to gain it quite easily fold so beautifully designed how did you do this peter it's brilliant there we go folding up and i'm going to do the same thing with the other side so down here and this i need to it would just easily lift up actually so this, this is the back now so this is the sleeve and this little arm needs to point out we are almost there so to do that this needs to fold up uh, mountain shape so it's kind of the sleeve here needs to push so it's going to go in half and if you think it needs to stick out as well the arm ah i'm gonna oh, really need to concentrate myself let me see so I have got the halfway point there and I am going to, right, I think I'm going to have to look myself first and then, right, how do I do it? So we've got this folded up. I find the best way is first of all to pinch it so this is in half and putting your finger in there and it will start to push out like that i'm afraid it is a little bit of you're gonna have to experiment but it will come together let me see if i can show that to you again so that little arm was up there and it needs to be able to go like a mountain so i'm pinching it together and i guess i'm then pushing it out sideways and that's going to give a little arm sticking out you'll see in a moment right we've just done one half we need to do the other one as well so i'm just gonna work on the other side now as well so again it's the same thing the moment this is flat and i need to pinch this so it's like a, uh, and then push it out sideways oh so i guess i'm putting my finger in there and it will sort of naturally stick out she says we will see <laughs> You need to concentrate a lot for this as well but it's good to do ambitious things as well so you need it if you think about it, you want the little arms to stick out basically beyond the edge so the arms are stick out let's have a little quick peek at the front yay we are almost there and actually the good thing is the arms you can just reposition to your happy um i might get them sticking out a bit more for example you see you can change the positions of the arms so at the back we can make it a little bit neater at the moment there's quite a few layers so the way that peter does it is the bit that sticks out so at the back can be tucked underneath itself like so and we need to do the same on the other side i hope you're following this as best you can it's also 3d isn't it um so again this basically we want to get the halfway line this sticks out over the halfway line so i'm taking this and just folding it underneath itself like so and then hopefully then they should both just sit next to each other so it's quite a few layers but it feels nice because it feels as if it's got a little bit of a body to it and it is a body isn't it so this is what it's looking like at the front really nice I hope it's worked for you um so we make also the little card because actually it's really nice because you can then pop it in there i think maybe do a more dramatic red than i've done i've done it quite pale so that you can see in the folds but if you've done this a nice nice red as i said i've done this in red felt tip i thought that worked really well um so i'm going to show you as well how to make the card with great thanks again to peter it's his invention um, in his design so and I like it feels quite cozy and it means actually that if we send this to somebody they can take it out and use it as a decoration or pop it back in very cute right so the card 
we're doing two folds here two folds yes so i'm again gonna look at the book where are we um there are even even envelopes as well that you can do but anyway so we're gonna have a go at doing the card as well best i can anyway um so i'm going to use the card actually for this sort of size this is this is what it becomes so you start with a really big piece and it becomes smaller but the good thing is because there's quite a few layers it then is really nice and strong it feels like quite a luxurious card from quite normal paper so it works well so to do this i'm going to get an a4 piece of paper and i'm going to just guesstimate a square so i don't get a diagonal line across it so i'm just going to guess and that's absolutely fine so i'm going to take my piece and i'm just gonna roughly estimate doesn't matter too much it's not critical like a normal piece of origami so because this is a card rather than a thing a little sculpture there we go so i've got my square so the first thing to do is we're going to take rim at the top it's just a guesstimate it doesn't have to be completely accurate but something like that a little rim at the top mm, again okay, try and make it level I'm not sure how level mine is that looks good and i'm going to do the same at the bottom but a bit wider at the bottom something like that that too so i've done something like that so it's wider at the bottom there so next we're going to turn it over and I'm going to, you can see where that lower fold is. I'm going to fold it in to make a little rim that will line up with the line underneath. So I, you'll find again it goes quite naturally. So I'm just folding this up and it's actually to the points there, the same height. There we go. Um, press it down. Right, and we're going to go back to the front side. There we go. So next we're going to take a little strip at the side and fold that over. We're almost there, not too many steps. There we go. Again, if I show you that. This is all guesstimates, so it's not measured, but that makes it fun. So I simply took that edge and I folded it in like so and we're almost there we're going to simply fold it in half so I'm going to take this and fold it in half this will really get you busy <laughs> yep. there we go and folding in half like so there we go right so our next our next step is we want to be able to tuck one into the other. Let me see. Hmm. So we want to be able to tuck one into the other. I have just found, I've just ended up tucking one like that. And simply, oh, have I done it the right way? And then in here, I can just bring that over that one. Have a play. It's not, for me, it's not an exact art. So basically one tucks into the other. Yeah, maybe I'll do that just one more time. So it was like this. And these little rims allow you to tuck in. So I'm going to simply tuck one in there. Push it in. And then this one, there is a little bit here which I can pop over that one. Maybe there's a slightly neater way of doing it. Like so. And then simply folding it in half. So as it is, folding it in half. So it's really got a lot smaller considering it was almost A4 size. There we go. Good squash. <laughs> And then turning it around, you have got a card with a little pocket there. And then you can get your, your little Santa and tuck it in. And then maybe, maybe you could write a message. Or you could just enjoy, enjoy it as it is. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs>
So make your own little cute festive card. I hope that's worked for you. Next week we'll also be making a gorgeous little star as well, which could also be put, put into um, a card this way as well. Or you could stick it onto a card or just enjoy it as a decoration. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Peter.